I'd like to have an adventure to seek my fortune and fame. But I think I might get homesick, so I'll just play my video game. I'd like to be in the circus with lions and tigers to tame. But it seems like too much work, so I'll just play my video game. What's up, guys? Welcome to Show for Gamers. I'm Jay, that's Al, and this is Kane and Lynch Review 2, Dog's Day. Hey, what's up? So, plays the crazy robbing guys, Kane and Lynch, and everything goes wrong. Very hyper-realistic game. You can get killed really fast in this, even if you're playing on easy. But it don't matter, because there's a big variety of guns. Um... Really cool, like, video filter on this and camera angles, especially during cutscenes. It's like they have a dude following them. Yeah, it's like a documentary type style where. Yeah, it's there's like, like there's, a, a, there's like a camera guy following you guys and, like, watching your story. Yeah, and then I feel like they did it on. I don't know if they did it originally on purpose or if the SRB told them they had to, but whatever. But. The nudity is all like censored out, like in like Japanese porn and stuff. No, it's it's like all fuzzed. Yeah, it's all stuff. censored out, and so is like if you shoot a guy in the head, like headshot him. Same thing, like his face is all. But everybody that has seen it, like when I was playing it, like when you were playing it, yeah, Hans was with you, and he's like, "Oh, that's cool." Yeah, you know, it's like it's weird to see censored stuff look cool. You can play this game co-op, or you can play it by yourself. Otherwise, it's the same game. You can beat the story in like four and a half hours. I want to say the the story's pretty short, and if you're playing co-op, you can power through that game pretty fast. Oh my, yeah. You we, know, me and Al were like cruising through it. Like yeah. we literally, dude, we were near the halfway point. Yeah. In that like hour that we played. Yeah, we played an hour and we were halfway through the game. I mean, he had played all the way through, and I I played the first few you know chapters, so we knew exactly where we were going, what we were doing. So I mean, power through it. But. The really addictive stuff comes from the Fragile Alliance game mode, which is, you can play this by yourself or online with people, but it's you and a bunch of other criminals, and they have multiple different levels, different setups, but you basically have to fight computer-controlled characters, um, grab, like, cash or diamonds or whatever, and then basically escape out of the level, and the more people that escape, the better, but you want to get the most money so you can unlock more stuff and level up faster, so you can actually, like, kill the other criminals. And I've had it set up where, like, first four criminals get away, a couple guys get shot down, so I steal the loot that they had on their body, and then it's me and one more guy, and, like, the van's pulling up, I'll, like, grab that guy and shoot him in the head. You can take human shields, you can throw them, and then they had that Gears of War idea that I had for Gears, where you, like, grab the guy and then, like, execute him with the handgun. Pretty sweet. There's also cops and robbers mode, which is, like, a versus mode, it's cops and robbers, yeah. you know? One guy's... Playing bad and, and then good. another mode that's really popular is um, Undercover Cop, where mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Uh, the Fragile Alliance, there's like four of you, and you guys are trying to get, you know, the diamonds or the money or the cocaine or whatever. Whatever the loot whatever. is. Whatever, but one of your dudes is the Undercover Cop, and it's his job to stop you. So, like, if you guys can find out who that is and take him out, then you just have to beat the computer. Yeah. But sometimes you'll be fighting the computer, all of a sudden you get shotgun point blank in the back of your head because the dude that was with you that's trying to help you is actually the undercover cop. Yeah, and that's that's fun to play the undercover cop because if you play it right, you can, you know, be really sneaky and trick your whole team into thinking you're you're one of them but if, and it, yeah, take them all if you don't if you don't register like your actions at the appropriate time and you like preemptively strike, the whole team will they Oh, know. he's the guy and they yeah, all they know up on you. You get rocked. So Story is short. Online's fun. There weren't a huge load of people, but if you have a buddy that has this, totally worth it. But, I mean, I really like the game. I just, it's it, it has the Army of Two syndrome where I, I don't have enough to keep me going. Yeah, it's where it's like, I, I can beat it too fast, and I could probably want to play that online too much, and there's not a lot of people on it, so. But, very realistic shootouts. Six out of ten. Yeah. Great, great renter. And for a few of you guys might actually want to buy it. You know, if you can get it for like 30 bucks or less, I'd buy it. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Next up, Mafia 2, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Shank, mm. Halo Reach, 
Dice rabbits. That's not true. I made that one up. Bunch more. We got a lot. Please Not subscribe coming. if you enjoy our reviews. Also, we have behind the scenes where we answer subscriber emails and just shoot the shit and review movies and just kind of play around and you know, just chat with you guys. You know. Uh wow! So this is what four in a row subscriber. That's five now. Five in a row subscriber. The next episode is called Chicken Fuckers. Very. Very abrasive and offensive by Bronx4389. Hmm. Watch our Mafia 2 review, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. But you two. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, shit. Get back inside!